So, so here we are. We're going to talk about settlement a little bit. The VIX futures and index options, they both set, they, they share a settlement price, uh, much like actually the S&P 500 index options and futures um, on uh, the, that quarterly expiration, that, those AM settled products, they share a, um, they share a, um, a settlement price as well. Now the way this process works is the um, contracts cease trading on, on Tuesday afternoon, the day before settlement, and then the settlement value is based on, it's determined um, with, the, with opening S&P 500 index option trades. Um, the, now this, this is significant because remember I was talking about the inability to replicate the, uh, the VIX index because the VIX index is quoted based on the midpoint. Well, the, um, where do we go here? I just, I just looked up and everything was moving on me. Bear with me here. So the, um, the settlement is actually determined with S&P 500 index option trades. Now, the, the, the VIX is a measure of implied volatility. It's a measure of implied volatility is priced in by S&P 500 index options. Well, if you're using the midpoint, you're, you're basically getting an average of the, um, you know, the implied volatility of the bid and the implied volatility of the offer. Well, if on the opening of, um, of the opening of the market on the Wednesday uh, that that we determine VIX settlement, there's more buying of options than selling of options. You're going to have the the um, the opening quotation of the VIX, the settlement price, based on the offer side, You're going to have a little bit higher volatility there. If we've got more selling than buying, we see in, seeing more trades on the um, bid side than the offer side, you're actually going to see a lower um, VIX settlement than you might expect. So there's a little bit of concern that a lot of people have going into um, to VIX um, settlement. If you go to our website, uh, about mid-afternoon Tuesday before the Wednesday, Wednesday expiration, there's actually a list of the options, option contracts that the, the exchange anticipates are going to be used to calculate the uh, VIX expiration. And then Wednesday, after the VIX settlement price has been announced, we actually put another spreadsheet out that shows the opening prices on all of these option contracts. And um, you know, it, it's a very, very transparent process. So. Um, you know, holding a position from the close Tuesday evening until finding out what the settlement price is going to be on Wednesday morning. Um, there's there's some risk involved in there, but uh, and you might not. You know, you, let's say you're short uh, S and P or short VIX the November VIX futures contract, and settlement was a couple of high, points higher than where that futures contract went out the night before. You're not going to be happy with it, but you are going to be able to uh, to. to see how the uh, settlement was determined. Again, they, they tried to make this as a transparent process as possible. Um, again, that Wednesday settlement, and we've had, for the longest time, we had nothing but Friday settlement at the uh, CBOE, and for one reason or another, we, uh, well, I know why, we're settling, a, we're settling 30 days, 30 day implied volatility, 30 days before the next standard option expiration. December 21st is the next VIX um, option expiration and futures expiration date. The next standard option expiration would be 30 days from then, January 20th. The January S&P 500 index options, the, the, the standard third Friday of the month um, S&P 500 index options, those are the options that are going to be used to price settlement on December 21st. The VIX is 30-day implied volatility. 30-day options are going to be used to come up with the, uh, the expiration or the uh, settlement price. Now note, I'm going to put some circles on here. There we go. Um, note that the, um, I am, there we go. Note that there are some months where settlement for the VIX is not the same week as the standard option expiration. A uh, couple of, uh, it, it, it generally happens about four times a year, every, every three months or so. Standard option expiration in 2012 for the March option contracts is March 16th. The VIX contracts are actually going to expire the following week, and that's because, again, the VIX expiration dates are based on these dates over here. Uh, February expiration is 30 days before March standard expiration. Uh, March 21st is 30 days before the April 20th expiration date. So 
there is, um, you know, the relationship is between these two. But sometimes, you know, we'll have option expiration one week and then VIX expiration the following week. More often than not, VIX expiration is the Wednesday of that, uh, that standard expiration date. The point here is you want to know which is which. And uh, it shows up on, we don't have our 2012 option expiration calendars out quite yet, but a good number of the option expiration calendars actually include the VIX expiration on their calendars now. If you're going to be trading something, trading something close to expiration, um, you just want to be aware of, uh, of when VIX expiration is. It's just not that intuitive third Friday of the month like the standard options that we've had around for ever and ever and ever. So, And then the special opening quotation, that's what we actually refer to. Um, the, um, what, that's actually what we refer to the, um, uh, when we have an AM settlement product. Uh, we have a special opening quotation for the S&P 500, which is an a SPX option contracts, which are an AM settled product. We also have a um, special opening quotation for the VIX, and the symbol for the, for the VIX special opening quotation is VRO. About mid-morning on Wednesday, December 21st, the, uh, if, if you have VRO on your screen, that number will change, and it will change from the November expiration price to the December expiration price. Uh, we go through the process where uh, we, we get those opening prices of those S&P 500 index options, put them in the same formula that we determined the VIX with, and come up with a VIX settlement price. And again, it usually comes out maybe an hour or two after, um, after the um, you know, after the market has opened. Depends on how volatile the market is as well.